I feel like ever since I was a little kid, I had this idea in my head of exactly what I wanted to smell like. Like I had this smell in my nose, but I didn't know what it was called and I didn't know what products to use. And as I grew up, I just realized that the best way to describe the way that I wanted to smell was like a crystal shop or like a dirty hippie, but in a good way. And now years later, I feel like I have nailed the crystal shop slash a yummy dirty hippie smell. <laughs> so I'm gonna share that with you today because this is the kind of thing that I would have wished that I had back in the day when I was trying to figure out what exactly that smell was and what exactly did people use to walk by you and give you that vibe. Hello, my beautiful creatures of the internet. Welcome back or welcome if we've never met before. Today, I'm gonna spill all of my <laughs> dirty little secrets about how I smell like a dirty hippie in the best way possible. But you might be wondering, Gabby, we can't smell you. So how are we supposed to know that the advice that you're gonna give us is worth listening to? Well, why don't I share with you some testimonials, some reviews of strangers and of the people that I know in my life about the way that I smell. Starting most recently with the lady in the thrift store yesterday, she was restocking the shelves. I walked past and she goes, oh my, you smell good. <laughs> I had a friend of mine from India tell me that I smell like an Indian prayer room. When I worked in retail, many of my coworkers told me that I smell like a walking crystal shop. Every time I go back home, the first thing my sister does is give me a big hug. And she's told me it's because I smell so good and she wants to smell me. Also, when I go back home, my family always tells me how happy they are that I'm back because I make the dog smell like me because I cuddle her so much. My friends tell me I smell like incense. And actually, when I think about it, the amount of people, family, friends, who hug me and always tell me, oh my gosh, you smell so good, but of course you would smell this good. You always smell this good. And last but not least, there's this running joke in my family because my first year of university, I was walking through a thrift store and this man passes me by, doesn't say anything the first time. Then he passes me by again and he turns and looks at me and goes, is it you that smells like patchouli? So now every time I go home and I smell nice, my family goes, hm, is it you that smells like patchouli? And I say, yes. That would be me. So hopefully that gives you all of the evidence you need to trust that I will be the one to tell you exactly to smell like a lovely hippie slash crystal shop slash a walking incense stick. So now that we've gone over my credentials, we are gonna start with my routine. We're gonna go from the very beginning to the very end. I'll show you all the products I use, all the good things. And then after I show you my routine and the products that I use, we're gonna go over just some general do's and don'ts. If you yourself would like to also smell like a yummy, dirty hippie. So first things first, when I actually smell dirty, like in a bad way, what I do, duh, I'll take a shower. There's a bunch of hair on my soap and I don't wanna show the world all the hair on my, I have the soap on my, hair on my soap. And we're gonna start in the shower because I feel like this is where people start their scented routines. It's like the first place you use scent, right? So the first thing I use when I'm in the shower is a simple bar of soap. This is a bar of soap that my friend's mom made me and she gave me a bag. And I've had these soaps since high school. They last so long. It doesn't really have a smell. I know that it's lye soap and I'm pretty sure it has cinnamon in it. But anyways, this smell doesn't really stay on me past the shower because it is so subtle. But we'll talk more about why that is potentially important later. Next thing I use is for my hair. So the shampoo I use is actually this shampoo bar. This one is like the oily haired one from, I forget the brand. Is it Jack 59 or something? Maybe I should look up which one this is. Okay, yes, here it is. This one is called, it is Jack 59. This one is called a Vitality Shampoo Bar. Looks like that. And the smell is rosemary, peppermint, lavender. I thought there was tea tree in it. I guess not. Rosemary, peppermint, and lavender. So it smells very fresh and most importantly, very natural. Cause you can't smell like a hippie if you don't smell au natural, you know? And then next for a conditioner, I use a conditioner from the same brand, Jack 59. And this one is called, let me find it. This one is called, oh gosh. I actually can't remember what this one is called because they're all the same color. I think this one is called the Amplify conditioner and the smell of it, it doesn't really smell like anything. It smells like cocoa seed butter and that's kind of it. So yeah, that's everything I use in the shower. The soap my friend's mom made me, the shampoo bar and the conditioner bar. Now moving along post shower, once you shower, you obviously need to try and preserve the fresh base that we just laid out, right? Which calls for deodorant, unless you're a perfectly non-stinky specimen, which I am not. So in the past, I have used no pong and I would recommend, they're really great. This container was from one that was called Spicy Chai and it smelled delicious, it smelled exactly like chai tea. But I ran out and didn't have time to order more, so I went to a local little shop in my city, and I got a refill of this stuff, 
And this is by the brand called Routine. And so far from what I can tell, this Routine stuff works just as well as my No Pong, because I really like No Pong. This scent that I have is called Moon Sisters. This is what it looks like on the website, but it is cheaper to get refills if you can, and it saves containers. And this one, the way they describe it, the scent is floral, soft, enchanting. So there is rose, neroli, lavender, and vetiv vetiver, vetiver. Anyways, it's like kind of a smoky, florally scent, not like a super like in your face floral, but like a relaxed, fresh floral. So that's the deodorant that I use. And honestly, I feel like any natural deodorant that has essential oils as the smells or just a plain non-scented deodorant works as well. So now that we've laid the base by showering and getting rid of the nasty spells, we've secured the base by putting on deodorant, it is time to add the cherry on top, which is the main smells, and I'll show you what I use. Actually, first, let me tell you the stereotypical dirty hippie smell, if you don't know what it is. It's patchouli. <laughs> Anytime people smell patchouli, they literally think of hippies. This one's old, so it's kind of hard to open. But patchouli kind of smells like woodsy, but in a way it's also kind of citrusy. I don't know. But this isn't what's gonna get you to smell like a crystal shop, okay? This is just to smell like earthy and stuff. So this is what I used to use almost exclusively. Exclusive. But this is a good option if you just want like a classic basic dirty hippie scent. But patchouli isn't what's gonna get you to smell like a crystal shop. These next two things are what's gonna make you smell like a crystal shop. So the all-star of what's gonna make you smell like a crystal shop is Nag Champa. So if you've ever walked into a crystal shop or you've ever walked somewhere where there's incense burning, most of the time it's Nag Champa. But I personally don't really love incense because they kind of bother my lungs. And I think just in general, incense isn't super great for you. Like if I'm gonna burn anything in my house, it's gonna be beeswax candles. And I'm basically too broke for beeswax candles, so I just don't burn anything. Sometimes I'll put on like a diffuser or something with essential oils. But anyways, Nag Champa is a flower, I believe. So I was able to find an essential oil that smells exactly like the incense. And I got mine from a company called The Beehive. Their website is www.thebeehiveonline.com. I'll show you their little logo. It's The Beehive. And then www.thebeehive. And I actually do believe they're based out of Calgary, Alberta. So that's cool, a little Canadian brand. And I think this little guy cost me, what was it, like $30? But I've had this since... I think it's been two, almost three summers and I use it pretty regularly and that's how much I've used. And when you use this stuff, most of the time I won't even take a full drop of the oil. I'll literally just like kind of drop it out and put like half a drop because it is so strong. Like sometimes if I don't want to smell super strong, I'll literally just like shake the bottle like this and then have some oil on the rim and I'll literally just like dab it on my neck and you can still smell the strongness. And the nice thing with this too is like when you put it on your clothes, then your clothes start smelling like Nag Champa. And yeah, it's just beautiful. And then lately, the thing that I've been mixing it with is this essential oil blend from Now Essential Oils. This one's called Power to the Flower. And in it, it has Ylang Ylang oil. I think it's Ylang Ylang. <laughs> uh, orange oil and patchouli, which we mentioned earlier was a great dirty hippie smell. The thing I like about this one is it still smells like florally and hippie, but since it has the orange in it, it makes it smell like a little lighter and brighter, you know? Mmm. And I actually discovered this oil because I myself was in a thrift store and smelled someone who I thought smelled magnificent. So I went up to her and asked her, what is that smell that you're wearing? Because I need to have it. Because cool girls don't gatekeep our smells, okay? We don't. So anyways, this is what I add in together. I feel like since they're both florally, a bit warm, they complement each other very well. And it also lasts a couple days on your skin or you could put it on your hair, like I said, after you rub it into your neck and stuff, you could put it on your clothes. And they're quite strong, you don't need to use much. This one, it says was $35, but I actually asked for it for Christmas, so I got it for Christmas. And I don't know if you can see how much is in there very well. But um, again, these will last forever. Okay, so now that I've shown you my routine, let's go over some basic do's and don'ts of smelly products you should use if you are trying to smell like a hippie slash a crystal shop on legs. Because you don't need to use the exact products that I've used. Like you can experiment and find your own dirty hippie smell. But to achieve that, yes, there are some rules that you need to follow. So the do's that I've thought of are use essential oils because they just feel nice on your nose when you smell essential oils. And what is a more natural perfume than essential oils? Essential oils just inherently remind people of like granola girls and hippies. So essential oils are a must. 
And I know they can be expensive, so honestly, you can just like find one blend of essential oils and buy that. Or if you wanna get really into it, you can buy a couple of basic essential oils and then mix and match and play with your own smells. And that kind of leads us into the next thing. You wanna use natural products as much as possible. Like when you're showering, use a natural shampoo, natural conditioner, natural soap, because natural products just complement and work well with essential oils. And next is something that I already mentioned is that burning incense also does help you smell like a lovely dirty hippie because then everything around you smells like incense and then you will just naturally smell like incense. Like I said, incense just doesn't work for me personally, but if you're not sensitive to stuff like that, go ahead. And if you are sensitive to stuff like that and you want your whole house and your whole room to smell like a dirty hippie, then I would just suggest getting essential oils and either putting them in one of those little like burner thingies that you put a light, a candle underneath and like diluting it in some coconut oil or putting it in a diffuser. Now let's get into some don'ts. Now the only don'ts that I really have for this category all fall under one thing. And I mean one don't would be like don't skip deodorant because then you're gonna actually smell like a dirty hippie if you smell like BO in essential oils. That's just my personal opinion. If that's what you wanna do, have at it. But the other don't that I have is do not use anything with synthetic fragrances because for the most part, synthetic fragrances are going to overpower any of the nice, lovely, gentle hippie smells that you put on your body. So what comes to mind is lotions. If you have lotions that have synthetic fragrances, obviously like use them up and don't throw them out because that's wasteful. And the most sustainable thing to do is to use up the things that you already have. But when you go and buy lotion the next time, try and get something that is unscented because once you put something scented on your body, I feel like it just never fades away. <laughs> and it's just not gonna mesh well with your natural essential oil kind of smell you've got going on, you know? Another really big one is shampoo. If you have a super strong smelling shampoo, and I'm thinking like the Pantene or the Trisemme where it's like really smells like freshly washed hair, that's also probably gonna dock you some like dirty hippie crystal shop smelling factors. And finally, last but not least, is if you're someone that likes to burn candles, try and avoid the synthetic candles because first of all, I'm pretty sure they're not good for you. I don't really know because I'm not much into candles, but the smell of synthetic fake candles also might just overpower your lovely little essential oil scent. So in a nutshell, when you can, either try and stick with unscented or with things that are powered by natural smells and essential oils and the likes. Now I'm curious though, if you're also someone who has had an idea in their mind of the way they've wanted to smell for a long time, how would you describe the way that your like ideal self smells? I would love for you to leave that for me in the comments. And also, if you have any product recommendations of how you smell like a yummy, dirty, hippie crystal shop goer, also leave that in the comments for myself and everyone else watching this video. Anyhow, here are a couple videos I think you would enjoy. Thank you as always for spending this little chunk of your day with me here in our little space on the internet. I hope this video finds you well, I hope you're taking care of yourself, and I will see you in the next one.